Welcome to Call My Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're outside. I haven't done this in a year. So actually, I'm kind of excited. Um, so first, just got back from vacation. We were in Punta Cana for, like, outside of Punta Cana for uh, six nights, seven days. And so I'm kind of used to the sun. Used to it being a little higher, but it's it's still, it's, it's very nice out. And in that vein, I thought it would be good to take one of the products that we had got in to review and we get products all the time. So I, I line them up and I try and feel what, what I'm in the mood for. Um, not necessarily because it's going to give me a better review or not, but I think when people mainly taste spirits or make cocktails, they're typically in the mood for a cocktail. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. When I'm in Punta Cana, I had a lot of pina coladas. I had a lot of different versions of them. I had zombies. I had um, a Mai Tai, which was awful. Uh, it had Campari in it, which I've never seen in a Mai Tai. And so part of that mood, I thought, to set, which hopefully will get you in the mood, unless you're in Australia or any place in the Southern Hemisphere where it's going to be winter, uh, passion fruit rum from Crusion. So in Crusion, I believe, is the way you say it. That's how they say it. So I'm going to repeat what they do, which is rare for me. I get so many comments about calling Lillet Lilit, and I apologize. My French sucks, like non-existent. Speaking of which, I'm going to my German class in about a half hour, so... Send me stuff in German, people. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to taste passion fruit rum. And, and while I was in Punta Cana, I had passion fruit. And I've had passion fruit here. I've used it on the show. You could search for passion fruit. You may find some passion fruit syrups or whatever. But look, passion fruit to me has been a, 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 it's a weird fruit. When you cut it open, it's got like these green slimy seeds that are freaking awesome. Like they're, the ones I've had have been sweet, um, tangy. With that whole aroma and flavor profile of passion fruit, in Punta Cana, they were much more of a lemon-type product where they're a green shell instead of the purple, and which these are definitely molded after the purple just from looking at the picture that they give you. And, and you can even see the green guts inside. It's just a weird. It's a weird fruit. And the ones they had in, in the Dominican Republic were, were sour, and, and my wife loved them. She had, like, one every day. And she was upset she couldn't have them the last day. And my daughter had them every day. And my son had them every now and then. I had one or two, but they were super sour. Um, they still had that passion fruit taste, but they were sour. This, my friends, is the next best thing. Like, you can get passion fruit syrup. We sell it on awesomedrinks.com. But this is a rum. It has some of the, the flavor, the, the, the scents, the aromas of the flavors of some of the ones I had in Dominican, which were more like striking sour undertone and maybe that's because the last one I had was sour but definitely brings that passion fruit ripe like right to the right to the nose with a with a neat fruity mild fruitiness to it but overall like that passion fruit is very very forward which it should be it's passion fruit rum hmm. so it's made in St. Croix French with natural passion fruit flavor. 21% alcohol by volume. That's not too bad. 21% for um, flavored rum. Hmm. Try that again. This is at room temperature. Plus plus the sun. That star is bright. Uh, as stars would be. So, this is a really really neat flavor to play with. Starts out sugary sweet, moves into a almost like that that sour component of the, of the passion fruit and tails off with a very uh, I don't want to say it, it's a mild sweet and a, and a juicy juicy flavor like a, a juicy component it's juicy like like the actual liquid around that passion fruit. This is as close to a passion fruit experience. I mean, the, the syrups that we sell are great for hurricanes and, and drinks like that uh, because they're very condensed. So you could do a couple pumps and you're, you know, you can bring a lot of that passion fruit aroma. You can make mocktails with it. You can, you can really, um, it's very dynamic in that way because you don't always have to create a, a crazy drink. You can make a tea with a squirt of passion fruit, right? Passion fruit rum, on the other hand, is going to bring the intensity, the 21% ABV, the that rum, although very, very silent in here, that rum 
um, overall body, it's, it's got a little bit of a, a heavy weight to it, probably because it's probably got a lot of sugar in it. Um, and, and when you bring that rum with the passion fruit, even in a hurricane, that might be overdoing it. People who like strong cocktails for the purpose of being strong, all right, well, there you go. You've got Crucian passion fruit rum. But for everybody else who wants all the different dynamic flavors, I think that the Crucian would work best in its own passion flavored um, martini like a passion fruit martini vodka is boring passion fruit vodka whatever this it's just it's got more natural sweetness less ethanol in the finish so you know I've always enjoyed flavored rums over flavored vodkas and I apologize for those but we've reviewed plenty of flavored vodkas and they all have something that they've added to it but rum is more my style and, and I feel like this brings a lot of that neat passion fruit flavor with an alcohol intensity without the burn without the the ethanol finish without the feeling like oh this is an alcoholic drink this can I don't know I think you can put some ice on this and you will you will be fine just with just this alone it's that it's that tasty but as a component to another drink maybe bringing in a, a little bit of a lime squeeze real passion fruit, um, something to bring a little more of the sour component, maybe some Warhead vodka, uh, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, being able to balance the, the sweet intensities of this with the incredible passion fruit flavor, along with a little sour component, um, and maybe something to color it, maybe a blue, blue curacao or something to, to really screw you up because you passion fruit and blue. Woo! Um, and some citrus. I think that would, it would be a, a great a compilation if you will so hopefully you guys enjoyed that I know I haven't done these outside reviews in a while and we haven't done too many reviews we were doing them for a while but we slowed down with busyness and vacations and such so there you go uh, again we just got back from vacation I have two videos to produce that we have edited and I've got a render for this week um, is that that's two so that'll get me to I think that'll get me to Friday I don't know what I'll do for Sunday what do you guys want to see on Sunday night shooters uh, let's not do a shooter this week let's do I don't know a tasting or something I can taste some bitters if you want uh, please have be something that we have in in the building here I don't want to go buying more stuff I got other stuff I also have a key line version of this if you want to see that so what do you guys think for Sunday what, what what's up what do you, what, what should we do that's the question today what should we do for this week's Sunday episode? Because it hasn't been recorded yet. Up to you guys. The more frequent responses I see to a specific topic, maybe I'll go in that direction. Otherwise, give me some ideas to work with. All right. Talk to you guys later. We're teaching you how to drink.